So this is the uh, PF Sense firewall um, 260 version. As you can see on my screen, LAN and WAN interface configured. So uh, to configure the SNMP service, we'll click on the service from top, come to SNMP, and then uh, enable the SNMP daemon and its control. Let the polling port be 161, but if you have any custom port, you can update that here. Location, well, you can update as per your location. Let me try to update the contacts with some dummy values. Read community string is public. Here, I do not see any write uh, community string, but uh, I'll try to figure out if there is any other uh, package available. And I believe this is until version 2C. Version 1 and version 2C, 2C is avail available on PFSense by default because I do not see any um, configurations for version 3 for authentication and encryption standards. So if you want to enable the SNMP trap, well, you can click here and enter the trap server and trap ports along with string. In my case, I'm leaving it blank. SNMP modules, I have checked it all. And the internet protocol, this is the binding information where well, IPv4, I'm binding it to all interface, but in your case, you can select the specific interface in question. So click save. Now let's try to move on to our Linux machine to do some SNMP operation. For example, this particular command, SNMP walk minus 2C is the version and the community string is public. This is the IP address on pfSense file. Let's try to execute this. So this is doing the SNMP walk. Well, you do not see OIDs here. Instead, you see description. So to get the OIDs, you can use the option ON. And you can see the options here. Well, there are certain, certain generic uh, um, OIDs or the informations that the networking devices follows. For example, system, if I put, I'll get all the list of OIDs listed under the system tree. And for example, if I put interface, I should see the values inside the interface hierarchy. Well, if you know the specific OIDs, for example, I want to know the uptime, Well, you can get using either the description name or if you have the OID information, well, what you can do is you can just copy the OID here and enter. You will get the OID value here, which is the uptime information. So that basically proves that everything is working fine. Let's move on to our Windows server to check the configuration. So here I have a free MIP tree which is this one. So uh, click on edit settings. First we'll try version one, enter the local host. If since IP port 161, community is public. Write community is not configured, but we can have it as public. Set the value system. So on the left-hand side, you can see multiple MIBs are loaded onto this particular manager, which is the RFC 123, 1213 MIB, which most of the devices uh, follow. For example, if I want to, let's say, get the information about the system, what I can do is uh, I can click on system, for example, the description, click on get, you can see here. Uptime information, system contact, the dummy value that you have set, name, location, you can see here. And if you want to do the uh, SNMP 
bulk. I think it's not available with version one. It's an MBFOC you can do on the system. Let's try to do that. You can see the values under the system for the SNMP walk. Let's try to check the status for 2C. Okay, so in 2C, you have the SNMP bulk option available. So click on that. You will get the bulk information regarding the system hierarchy. With all the information, let's try to test this. Well, it's working fine with 2C version as well. And on PFSense Firewall, I do not see any configuration for version 3. So I believe it is not supported out of the box. And you might have some packages available to allow version 3 configuration on PFSense. So I'll, I'll try to look into this and we'll try to update this in future. So uh, that's how you work on SNMP configured on PFSense Firewall. If you have any question, do leave them in the comment section. And please do not forget, forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. See you in the next one. Bye.